Alright guys, so today we're going to be replacing this cluster that does not have an RPM gauge with this cluster that does have an RPM gauge. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so uh, real quick, I want to go over how to remove that cluster. You can clearly see that I've already removed it here. But this is the main thing that I want to talk about, this and a couple other things. So whenever your dash piece is in here, it's going to sit over it like this and cover everything up. There's going to be these little things in it right here that, that they sit in here about like this. You're going to pull those out with like a flat head screwdriver or something. This screw here and, and this screw here are going to be what hold it in. Then you, once you take those two out, uh, you'll have a fuel selector switch. You're going to need to get that out of the way. What I like to do is I like to pull it back, get like a flat head screwdriver in between this and the thing, and then twist it so that it pulls us up and pull it back so that I don't damage anything because a lot of them get broken that way. Then you can remove your whole dash piece, pull it out, and it's good to go. After that, there's going to be four bolts, one here, one here, one here, and one here. One, two, three, four. Those four are going to hold in the cluster. You're going to be able, then once you remove those four bolts, you'll be able to pull it out. You're going to have this that goes into it, this that goes into it, and this that goes into it. Uh, this one goes to this side, this one goes to this side, and this one goes in the middle. How can I tell that? Because this motherfucker don't reach over here. So, <laughs> this side, this side, and then this side. And, wow. These harnesses are literally just held together with tape. That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so that is how you remove it. But well, I've already done it, so now you guys know how. Alright guys, so, to remove this right here. Now, a lot of people will take this entire thing apart. As you can see, I did not. I left it here. Basically, if you can look, if you can look through these holes right here, can you see in there? Mm. Okay. Well, you you can. Well, if if you can't see very well, guys, I'm sorry, but there is a bolt there and a bolt here that hold it in. If you take them out, you can just pull it out from the bottom here, and you're actually good to go. And you can just leave it hanging like this. Whenever you get your new one in, you can just plop this back up in there, put in your two bolts, and you're good to go. So. I hope that helps because a lot of people break these taking them out and I don't want you guys to break them. So. Okay guys, so the thing that you need to swap in between these is your PSOM. Now that is going to be this right here. Uh, that's, that's your MPH gauge and it also is your odometer. This one has a digital odometer so whenever you turn it on it will show the mileage. Now if you put the one out of this truck in it without swapping it, it will have the wrong mileage for your truck. So you need to swap them. How we're going to swap them is we're going to have to take off this plastic cover. Then we're going to remove the gauges one at a time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start removing these bolts right here. These silver bolts that you can see. I'm going to start removing those. And we should be good to go. Alright guys, so these two screws right here at the back are the last two gold screws that you have to take out. I took out every gold screw in the whole thing. Now I can pull this piece off and lift it off. I can set it over here. And now we can start. There's a specific order these have to come out in. I can't remember it. Well, apparently that's it. Alright. So this is our fuel right here. That has to come out. We're just going to set that here or something and then this one comes out and that. that's good to go now this is your PSOM this right here is like I said it's what keeps track of your mileage and other things that's out so now I'm just actually just gonna leave this in here so that I don't get confused as to which one's which but um yeah as you can see guys they just kind of pull out not a problem so should be good to go now we're just gonna do the same thing over here there is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow 
Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Alright guys, so uh, this is how I repair interior pieces. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this thing kind of flops around. You can see that it's came loose from right there. I literally just have a hot glue gun here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to put a couple tacks of glue back there. Press it down. Whenever it seeps out, I'm going to wipe it up with this shop rag right here. So that you can't even tell it was ever glued. And it looks really clean. Um, I'm not going to use a lot of glue. Let's get this thing ready. Okay, so basically, that's it. That's all I'm going to use for that side. I'm going to go ahead and push that down all the way flush. Make sure well, it's not lined up. So, And of course, if you mess up, it's not that bad to pull up because it's just hot glue. And of course, it already dried because it's really not that hot right now. So, I'm actually going to wait for it to heat up a little more, and then I'll attempt number two. See, and I just pulled that old glue right off, which to me means that it's not hot enough to make a really good connection. Of course, you don't need a great connection because this is going to be sitting inside of a cluster, which shouldn't be being hit by anything. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do some more cleaning on it while I wait. very light. Alright, now we'll try it again. We want to try to make sure that everything is lined up. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So. It's all nice. I don't think I got any in there. And you also want to make sure that you don't mess with this right here with this spinning part. So now that it's dried, you can carefully remove the excess. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right there. And then if you want, get you find a damp spot on your rag or go dampen it, whatever you want. Wrap it down like that so that it cools a little. Puts it, in, puts it kind of in shop, and for some reason it works, so it gets the glue off. So. Alright. Alright, so you're pretty much just going to put it together the way you took it apart. So, set your PSOM from your other cluster in it. Okay. Make sure that this is the one from your old cluster because you want the same mileage. Then, Gauge is going to go in. It's going to snap in place. Then, we're going to have this right here go in. And then finally, you have. I think that piece had to go in first. Never mind, it was upside down. It goes in. It's just like a puzzle. Now, we're going to take the little black trim piece. And I failed to wash this one. So I'm gonna wash this one, then I'm gonna put it back on. Hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.
And there, there <laughs> is the cluster that we will be installing in the truck. It's looking good, everything's nice and clean. We have our miles per, per hour gauge in there. Let's push it up with the window. This one's all dusty and grimy. That's how I know, see, don't clean everything. <laughs> but we're gonna actually be putting that one in the old cluster, just in case someone needs it for something. I have a cluster that's put right together. I don't want a bunch of little pieces lying around. So now we're gonna go over there to the truck. We're gonna put this bad boy in. All right, so we didn't get to film the entire thing going back in because, uh, well, camera extra SD card ran out of space. As you can see, we got the new cluster in. It all put back together. Our fuel selector switches in. All that is good to go. Uh, the last thing, the only thing we didn't do is we didn't put the screws back in this, but that's the old cluster. I'll do that off camera. Um, but I do want to show you guys that it works. So. on you can see that it's revving um, you can probably hear it misfiring yet yeah, just like that so we've still got a good bit of uh, work to do on this thing as far as figuring out why it's misfiring but uh there it is all right so that's going to do it for today's video if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more see you next time bye